Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we have a function f of x which is sin x plus cos x in the interval 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 pi. As a first part, we are going to find the intervals in which it is increasing or decreasing. So let's find f dash of x. f dash of x equal to differentiation of sin x is cos x and cos x is minus sin x. We have to equate to 0. Then let's carry this cos x to the other side. So minus sin x equal to minus cos x. Let's cancel this. Now it is sin x divided by cos x equal to 1. It means tan x equal to 1. When tan x is 1, let's take a coordinate axis. And when tan x is 1, x will be pi by 4. So at pi by 4, tan is 1. And again, tan is negative in the second and positive in the third. So another value will be at this position. And that will be, we have to add one more pi with this pi by 4. So pi plus pi by 4, that gives pi pi by 4. So the value of x 1 is pi by 4 and another is 5 pi by 4. Let's take a small number line using the interval 0 to 2 pi and plot these two x values in between. So we have a number line and it is ranging from 0 to 2 pi. 1 is pi by 4 and another one is 5 pi by 4. So these are the intervals we have. So let's write intervals and second part we have to write sine of f dash of x. Then we have to say nature of f of x whether it is increasing or decreasing. So the first interval we can see 0 to pi by 4. So 0 comma pi by 4. And second interval pi by 4 comma 5 pi by 4. And third interval is 5 pi by 4 comma 2 pi. Let's complete this with a box. We have to pick a value in between this interval and substitute the f dash of x. So f dash of x also we can copy the term which we equated to 0 cos x minus sin x. So this is cos x minus sin x. Suppose if I take a value pi by 6. So f dash of pi by 6. Pi by 6 is the part of the first interval. So we get cos pi by 6 minus sin pi by 6. This value is root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 which is greater than 0. It means the function is increasing. Then from the second interval we can take pi by 2. We can take any value but I have taken the easiest value. So cos pi by 2 minus sin pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 is 0 and sin pi by 2 is 1 and there is a minus sign so less than 0 which is negative. So the function is decreasing in this interval. Then in the third interval we can take 3 pi by 2 which is 270. So here we have a quadrant 0 pi by 2 this is pi this is 3 pi by 2 and once again this is 2 pi. So between 5 pi by 4 and 2 pi, we can take 3 pi by 2. So cos 3 pi by 2 minus sin 3 pi by 2. Cos 3 pi by 2 is 0. Sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. Totally we have 1 which is more than 0. So we can say the function is increasing. So first part we completed we found the intervals where the function is increasing and where the function is 
decreasing. Let's continue the second part of the question. So, in the second part, we have to find the intervals of concavity and the inflection points. So, let's take the f of x which is sin x plus cos x. As for the procedure, we have to find two differentiation. First, f dash of x which is nothing but cos x minus sin x. Then f double dash of x that gives minus sin x minus cos x and we have to equate to 0. So, minus sin x equal to cos x. I have taken the cos x to the other side. Then minus sin x with cos x I carry to the denominator. So, we get 1. We can carry the minus sign to the other side. So, sin x by cos x will become minus 1. So, finally we get tan x equal to minus 1. So, let us take quadrants. Tan x is minus 1. The value of x will be one value here in the second quadrant and another value will be in the fourth quadrant. So, this is 3 pi by 4 and when I add plus pi because plus pi when I add this will become 7 pi by 4. So, these two values are the x values which is 3 pi by 4 because tan 3 by 4 is minus 1 and 7 pi by 4 is also minus 1. So, as usual we have to take a small number line with the given interval 0 to 2 pi and plot the values of x in the number line. One is 3 pi by 4, another is 7 pi by 4. So, we got three intervals. So, once again we have to form a table in which first we have intervals. The intervals are 0 comma 3 pi by 4 is first interval. Then we have 3 pi by 4 comma 7 pi by 4 second interval. Then we have third interval 7 pi by 4 comma 2 pi. Three intervals we have. Then we have to find the sine of f double dash of x. And let us copy the f double dash, the one which we equal to 0. It is minus of sin x plus cos x or minus sin x minus cos x. So, we will take it as it is minus sin x minus cos x. And here nature, whether it is concave upward or downward. So, we have to complete all this in a table form. So, first part, we can take one value. You can take pi by 2 from the first interval. So, f double dash of pi by 2. This will be, when I substitute here, I will get minus 1 and cos of pi by 2 is 0. So, totally it is minus 1 less than 0. So, the nature is concave downward. Then, in the second interval, the value which you are going to take See, already we have taken the pi by 2 in the first interval. 0 to 3 pi by 4, we have pi by 2. In the second interval, we can easily take pi, which lies in the interval 3 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4. So, f double dash of pi. Sin pi is 0, cos pi is minus 1. Already there is a minus sign, so it will become plus, which is greater than 0. So, we can say this concave upward. Then in the last interval, it, this is a small interval, in this gap we have to take, by taking one such value, using calculator, we can take some value. For example, this is 7 pi. So, I will take 7.5 pi by 4. Because this 2 pi is nothing but 8 pi by 4. So, I have to take a value between 7 and 8. So, I have taken 7.5 pi by 4. Using calculator, after evaluating this, we will find this is less than 0. So, we can say it is concave downward.
and in the second part you should also find the inflection points we got the x values which are 3 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4 so x is equal to 3 pi by 4 is one value and x is equal to 7 pi by 4 is another value let's substitute this in the function f of x so f of 3 pi by 4 we have to find f of x is sin x plus cos x so sin 3 pi by 4 plus cos 3 pi by 4 this gives sin of pi minus pi by 4 plus cos of pi minus pi by 4 but pi minus pi by 4 in sign we can write, rewrite it as sin pi by 4 since it is the second code run so it is positive but here it is cos pi by 4 but it is the second code run cos is negative so minus both the values are 1 by root 2 so minus 1 by root 2 that gives us 0 so one such point of inflection is the value of x is 3 pi by 4 and the value of the function which is 0. In the same way for another value 7 pi by 4 we can evaluate. So f of 7 pi by 4. This gives sin 7 pi by 4 plus cos 7 pi by 4. But 7 pi by 4 can be rewritten as 2 pi minus pi by 4 plus cos of 2 pi minus pi by 4. So 2 pi minus theta will be sin theta but it is in the fourth quadrant so it is minus and this will be cos pi by 4 but fourth quadrant cos is positive so it is plus cos pi by 4. Once again this is minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2. So both will get cancelled, you get 0. So the another point of inflection is 7 pi by 4 comma 0.